undoubtedly it was uh, criminal damage, and we have a legal process uh, that, that will come into play. And then it's up to uh, you know, people who sit on the benches and our magistrates and on our courts to make a judgment. That's the way we run it. And it's one of the, the, the areas in, in, our, in, our, in our country that we need to uphold a criminal justice system that is independent of political influence and political decision making. But let's not let the incident take away from the bigger question. And actually, we have to decide to do that. You know, some of our national politicians have been saying uh, this will detract. It will only detract if you allow it to detract. There was an incident. You may not like the incident, but it's really important that our national politicians understand what that incident meant. It was vandalism. It was a criminal act. But if that's the only way you understand it, then you've got a problem. Uh, you have to understand that people are frustrated with our, our politics. And, and, and my suggestion is that, that we had thousands and thousands of people on the street yesterday. There was one piece of criminal damage, a statue. There were no big violent confrontations. Take the warnings and the messages that come from that incident, race inequality in particular, general inequalities, people's frustration at a political machinery, a political system that cannot capture and express their frustrations uh, with the way the world is uh, being run. And so that energy has found another outlet. If they fail to understand that, then we will have a very sorry future for the kind of politics uh, we have in this country.